With a <laughs> All right, guys. Let's uh, like, as we alluded to earlier when you guys when we were talking about you guys and what started everything, your connection with Golden Boy, and um, the fight that everybody wants. I mean, we all know what it is. It's Triple D versus Canelo. Uh, you two, Fred and Nacho, <laughs> you guys have a standing one thousand dollar bet. You're on the Triple G side. You're obviously uh -huh. on the Canelo side. Talk to us about why that fight has not been made yet and what's actually holding it up. Your thoughts, your opinion on what, why hasn't yeah, it been made Golden Boy's best friend. Well, yeah. just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see Golden Boy all over the place. Yeah, you see Golden Boy everywhere. <laughs> nah, I just think um, Canelo is a cash cow right now. And, and, and he, he sets the rules. Just like how Mayweather did it, how Pacquiao did it. Yeah. Now it's his time. You know, I know it shouldn't be that way, but now it's business. Yeah. And business is business. You know, and I, I, for what I heard, the $10 million and the 150A, they didn't sign it, which I think it was fair, you know? Canelo goes up, he goes down a little bit, meet halfway, make it happen. He doesn't like it. Yeah. That's stupid. Like, it's, you're fighting for the 160-pound belt. belt. He's not the champion. If, if see, Floyd was the champion, well, when he fought Cotter, but when, when Floyd, <laughs> what, but, but Floyd is the champion. Okay. Canelo is not, he's not really a champion. He, that was, the, I was Andrade's belt. They okay. found a way to strip Andrade and give it to Liam Smith. And it probably was in the cards along. Because even the WBO champion, I forget the guy's name, he said, we're excited in the press conference. We're excited to have Canelo Alvarez as our champion. He didn't even say, like, he's fighting for the champ as, like, our champion. So, <laughs> he already knew. Yeah, he already knew the result. So, <laughs> he already knew the result. I think that 160, he knows he can't make 154 anymore, I believe, because if you get naked before you get on, you shave your whole body, you get naked before you get on. Almost all the, a lot of fighters, though. Yeah, but it, it looked kind of conspicuous. Why, why judging Canelo now? No, I'm not judging it? Canelo, but it looked conspicuous, like he can't make 54. Okay, tell me why Golovkin will go down to 154. He shouldn't to have to. Fight? He's a unified to champion. Fight? Mayweather. But not to fight Canelo. It's bigger because money. It's bigger it's Mayweather, yeah. he's, they, they're not even the same strategy. Oh, but, 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 but we're not respecting the 160 division anymore. Fred, you say Canelo is not a champion. Whoever put 50,000 people in the stands is a champion. Yeah, to the people. He's a people's champion. Absolutely. And anything across that Mexican border, he can get 50,000 people. Anything. If it's Texas, New Mexico, Tijuana, TJ, if they can get a fight sanction there, it, hey, he can sell out Azteca. He could get 100,000 people in Azteca. I'll be honest with you. I honestly think Canelo sells out the stuff up. And I'm not talking about the little tennis court. I'm talking about the soccer field he'll that sell, Oscar fight he, boards he, in. He'll sell that out. He'll sell the he tennis court in the sparring session. Yeah. yeah. He would. He would. Right. He would. He would. <laughs> I, now, 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 facts are the facts. Canelo got 51,000 people. It should be a minimum 60-40 split. But uh, you can't go minimum, uh, minimum, at minimum 60-40. I say 70-30. We, we no, I said minimal. Oh, okay, 60, okay, okay. 60, 40. Come on, Triple G can't even lead. field up that. No, uh, I'm uh, saying like yeah. minimum, so maybe 65, 30. I don't know what it'd be. But you can't tell a guy who's, who's, uh, who is the B-side, but is the fight everyone wants to see, I'm only going to give you $10 million. Like I, I was equating it to like, like, a, like, like a millionaire telling you to, to uh, jump off a building. If you survive, I'm going to give you a million dollars. Like it doesn't how make How it's much not, is he going to make with Jacobs? Maybe a couple million, two Probably million. Probably about two, three million. He's giving him like five times more than that. But it's not. The, it's not the yeah, same, I agree though. With Fred. I it's agree not the same. Fred. At least Fred. give him fifty cents for pay per view. Uh, um, sample. Uh -huh. You. Uh huh. You, you're a fighter. Uh huh. And you, you like, you sure you can meet someone? Uh -huh. And they're talking like, okay, let me. Go. Will you go down and just like to just his mom like like fuck? I can beat him in one fifty. I can beat him in one fifty four. Depends on where I'm at in my career. It literally, but he's the well, unified. He's already old. He needs to do it. Yeah, no, I agree with that. He's 35, 36. So he has like maybe three or four more fights where he's at his prime. But and Canelo can just sit there and wait. I think I think you can't. He's spiking them by I giving them ten million dollars. I'm really point. sick and tired of uh, you know giving away so much. I think there was a time when he was not even champion that he was gonna fight for a title. I forget whom, but he was gonna fight for a title and take zero dollars. This was already said. I, um, his promoter, Tom Loeffler, said that they were going to take zero dollars just to get a title. I I think, I well, <laughs> no, I mean, when I say zero, maybe I'm talking about a few thousand dollars, not, 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 a, not a whole lot of money. Uh -huh. I, th I just think Gennady Glockin's just sick and tired mm -hmm. of being told that he's got to do this, he's got to do that in order to prove himself. If you're going to fight the champion at 160 pounds, the fight needs to be at 160. I'm tired of the catch weight. I'm tired of it. Man. You know? Give the fans what they be. want. Give the fight, fight at 160. Make the fight, give him a percentage, give him a $10 million guarantee, $15 million guarantee, 
I mean, ten million dollar advance, and you make whatever you want on the back Canelo, end. If Canelo's so confident that he can beat Gennady Golovkin, then take it at one sixty. Uh, I but think he's just confident of um, he's capable <clears throat> to make more money than than Golovkin. Mm -hmm. Like he can, he can, he can generate more money right now. For sure, he put so, fifty one thousand people in the uh, exactly. Dallas, Texas. So I think that's the Urban, whole issue. Urban, like, in Texas. When he said uh, Golovkin was willing to take no money because he wanted to make his name bigger. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like an invest for him. Invest, yeah, because, right. because he didn't have no followers. And Leto doesn't need to do that. But, no, yeah. but, but if that fight is signed, we get 90,000 people. And you get LA media flying in. You get everyone else flying. That is a, man, that is the biggest fight. Yeah, it is a big fight. How so long we wait for, what, did we wait for uh, Pacquiao and Mayweather? Five years. Five years. Five years. And the thing look, is, look, the thing man, is, this, dude, this should this we wait thing. for that fight though? No, no, no. This, this, this is the thing. No. If Canelo fights Golovkin next year, and, and wins, people will be like, oh, you should have fought him last year. Yeah. I mean, he was it's, sold. It's and always going to be he, something. He's not going to. That's not, true. He's not going to. He's not going to. Yeah. And, and, let me, yeah. and let me tell you another thing. If he doesn't fight him, a lot of people is going to talk shit. But they already did. Already what knows. else? I mean, they already. No, he's done. He really don't really have anyone on his <laughs> resume. Like, really, really, really. Who like, does Golovkin have? Okay, okay. okay. I agree 100% <laughs> with that. I agree. <laughs> Golovkin doesn't have any. But how he, do, how he beats people. What makes people? me believe that he can destroy Canelo. What's what the people? Name of the fighter, the, uh, the, the guy. Uh, Martin? No, um, the one he knocked, knocked out. Kilbrook? No, the before. Before Kilbrook, uh, so, Willie Monroe? Monroe? Willie Monroe? Oh, Monroe. before. Rosado? No. The black guy at the form. Yeah. Uh, Dominic, Dominic Wade. Wade. <laughs> Dad, that's your Dominic Wade. Right there. <laughs> Dominic Wade. But, but I agree with all them chumps. I mean, he's fought a lot of chumps. The only good fighter that he has fought is Cole Brooks, and he's a 140. Curtis Stevens is tough. Curtis Stevens oh is decent. God, really? Curtis Stevens is decent. He was decent. You got, he's decent. He's decent, but he's, he's, a, not, he's a good he's not a level fighter. fighter. He beat David Lemieux. Let's go. David Lemieux was going to David Lemieux. Hold on. Let's call a spade a spade. Oh, yeah. Let's call a spade a spade here. Let's call a spade a spade here. They're, they were trying to give Canelo the Rosado fight in December while Triple G beat him three years ago. So let's yeah. call a spade a spade here. Come on. No, guys. but that was that was a fun, that was a fight for the Mexican fans. I mean, he was gonna. It was fight gonna be in Mexico. December. It was gonna it was be a free open be TV. Free. So mm. I mean, but still, you know, if you're gonna give Canelo. You know what? December though, Canelo, that, Canelo has the better resume, no doubt about yeah, it. Yeah, he does. He's but when you look at his fights, like Fred mentioned, he can easily have three losses. At the fight against Laura, he I thought he lost. I, I believe oh. he lost Laura. Shroud, I Trout, thought it more like a draw. He's a younger, yeah, you know, I think but, won, but it's a fight. It's a fight that he could have easily lost as well. If they didn't lost have lost that name recognition, now you can say he could have gone to Trout. Trout because Trout, he knew in his face when he was going out in the last round that he was he was done. He he know he it knew missed he, a lot of punches. Yeah, but to me, Laura, I honestly think he did lose to Laura. But how old was Canelo at that time? Uh, you don't, he doesn't get credit for that either. Well, he's, no, he was 24. He's an 8-year pro. He's 8-year pro by then. He started at 16, right? 15, 16, 16 8-year pro. Fighting, uh, fighting Lara with um, Golovkin being dodging for the last, what, couple years? No, I mean, I give him credit for fighting Lara, fighting Trout, but like you said, you, a spade is a spade. A spade so a spade. A, uh, the performance that he had, to me, was a loss. I don't think Canelo's afraid of anyone. No, I don't I, think I, he's 100%. I've interviewed him. It's tough for me to interview him because of the language barrier, but just his body language. You know what I mean? Like, I, just, oh, I have no doubt in my head Canelo will love to fight Triple G. But and, and believe he's tired. De La Hoya doesn't yeah. want to fight Triple yeah. G. I mean, that, that's, that, that's 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 what I believe, you know. And uh, De La Hoya knows until he gets another fighter, maybe a Jojo Diaz, right? Guy like him, maybe he might be next, something like that. Until that happens. I don't, I don't think that fight happens, but I mean... He's 26, he's still got four more years in boxing. And why risking him right now when he's when he's giving you all the money, you know? Yeah, yeah. Let me right ask there. you this. Everybody, you want, everybody wants this fight in 2017. Yeah. Does it happen in 2017? I think yes it no? will. I think it will. September. I think it will. September. All right, let me... Let confident me, that Canelo takes a decision? Knockout? No. I think he's... You know what? I think he's going to stop him. Wow. Who's going to stop him? You know how I see he's this fight? Canelo going to stop wow. Triple G. How? This is how I see that fight. <laughs> Angulo Canelo. Hell wow. no! And Google has that, way less okay, talent! That just me. That's and Google we, just lost to a cab driver! That's why we got that that was Guerrero. That was actually Guerrero. Oh, no, but the other guy was a cab driver! It was a cab driver from Colombia! cab driver from Colombia! Argentina. Okay. Argentina, that's yeah. how I he see it. South America. <laughs> to me, Golovkin <laughs> doesn't have no head movement. Oh, he that, doesn't need it! No, go, triple G, I, mean, oh, I just want to see all those countering. Don't have foot movement. So but what about the counter? Yeah, but he does have a good oh, counter. He does he have a good. Counters, he has great counter. He has great lateral movement. But if you get hit, you can't counter. That's why you guys. You guys. That's why we're betting. That's why. That's why. If you, who, how many people?
people have you seen get knocked out throwing a counter? Yeah. It happens every day in boxing. Sparring. You get hurt. You get. It's over. You the fight hurt. is over. Yeah. You throwing a. You, like they say, you don't hook with a hooker. You like. Triple G gum. Remember what Can hey, hey, Canelo tried to counter Mayweather. You, you know. can't counter the best counter. Yeah, you, know, you can't do that. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what Golovkin is going to do. Hmm. Golovkin's just going to beat the shit out of him. He's going to wear him Because Canelo down. loves to be on the ropes and he counter does. people. And that's, that's going to be his Once he feels that power, I don't think he's going to be that's able to That's what I'm saying. He's going to have, gonna use his... And, and, and Canelo really is not really the lion in the ring. Like, he's he's like grown into be being like who he is. Like, you know, he's not really like the walk forward. I'm going to mow you down. But and, he, like, moves destroy. Head. he moves his head. He mo oh, he's gotten uh, so and, much better. And Canelo's faster. He has yeah. a faster hand yeah. speed. Canelo does have the faster <laughs> hand speed. Yeah. Yeah. But his punches are straighter. And Triple G's punches are straighter. And he's heavier than, than Brooks. And he's probably heavier than Triple he G. He punched harder than Brooks. Yeah. And he's probably heavier than Triple G, too. Yeah, all that's saying he probably will be heavier than Triple G, uh, but he's going to be... Well, I've been fighting uh, Jacobs. Uh-huh. Um, I, I like Jacobs. To win that fight? Not to win, but to give a good fight. And I think it's going to be a close fight. Yeah, it's not going to be a close fight. I, 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 think I honestly think I honestly I think, think it goes more than six, seven rounds. It doesn't matter if it goes six, seven rounds. You're getting your ass beat every round. Because Golovkin hasn't Jacobs really doesn't fought a 160 he's fighter. A, he's, a, like, he's a dangerous fighter. Jacobs fight. is a yes. good boxer as well. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, let, let, let's, like, go to, let's go to what I said and the way you reacted. Okay. Do you really think Dude, Jacob, Jacob, Jacob's, <laughs> Jacob's Triple G is going to be like Kovalev Pascal too, where Kovalev was just teasing him, even though he could have killed him at any moment Yeah, because... Ooh. You that's know what how it was. Like that's that. how it was. Because no. that's how you're reacting. Like, you're reacting so You know like what that. gives me confirmation in that fight? When Rosado, Andre Berto, Kovalev, uh, the light, Raw, the, I, I always mispronounce that, the cruiserweight, soon to be cruiserweight champion of the world. You know, the, the, the Russian, I forget the kid's name. You know his name. He knocked down. Murat. Murat. Knocked Murat. down with a couple yeah, body yeah. shots. When we have validation of the menace that Triple G causes in the ring. We don't have validation of Canelo just destroying people in the ring. It, it, it doesn't go down like that because in order for Canelo to win, he has to land a counter shot. Triple G's punches are literally straight down the pipe. Like he's going straight down the freeway. It ain't no alternate routes. But I think he has got more experience by fighting Lara, Trout, and all those guys. But he's not fighting he, he a Lara has, or a Trout. Because he has given more experience. But all, all Canelo had to do was catch Lara. Nothing was coming back in return because Canelo Law was always fighting off his back foot. You know what I mean? Something's coming in return. Like, like you got a gun, I got a gun too. Like, except yours is a 22, mine is a nine millimeter. That's what Triple G's saying. Yeah, but if, I, but if I can dodge your bullets, yeah. I'll beat you. Yeah, but that's gonna be on. Yeah, you gotta take them red and red and blue pills. But I mean, I I just think that. That fight is just gonna be. I, I really I can't wait for that fight because I get to work out here for you. I years. just think uh, <laughs> for free. Golovkin, Golovkin, Jacobs though. That's a fight that. That is a good fight though. Honestly, that is gonna be a good fight. Honestly, a good fight. A good fight. I don't think it's uh, it's it's 100 percent in the bag for Remember Gennady. What I think to Jacobs. Keep not, with no, Jacobs. Not. Yeah, and you think every he's in the ring as well. He has long range, good boxing. Uh -huh. As long if he gets clipped though. Then, you know. I mean, he's gonna get hit though. No, but you know what I mean. There's only one Floyd Mayweather. We're not saying that he's going to uh, win. Uh, the I younger Andre the Ward, yeah. those don't exist anymore. Those guys don't exist. The guys that don't get hit. You know, Shane Mosley, maybe. He but thinks Jacob uh, Golovkin's going to go yeah, the distance. On, he got he's got a distance fight. He got a distance fight, Golovkin versus, rounds. versus Jacobs. He says it goes distance 12. How? I don't see it going 12, but I do see him lasting longer than anybody. You get tired of getting hit on the shoulder. Like, you get tired of getting hit. Let's just see how Al Golovkin reacts to a, a real 160. Yeah. Hunter. No, uh, with the name David Lemieux experience. was a real yeah. 160. Yeah, with the name. <laughs> yeah, but David Lemieux had his flaws, and we all knew it. David Everyone Lemieux, has flaws, though. Yeah, but Jacobs, Jacobs, the only flaw we really saw was when he was younger and he was going through what he was going you through. Right I, now, Jacobs it, actually looks yeah. much better than he you did four or five years Jacobs ago. Jacobs I think it's like, just like Brooks. Mm -hmm. Jacobs has so? that athletic you think they have ability. The same experience no, as a boxer? no, different. No, I, I think Jacobs has more experience than Brooks. A little bit more athletic. He has more experience than Brooks. And look how Brooks putting sense on Golovkin. Yeah. So, yeah. so, no, you're so gonna, you gotta you got to give him a chance. You don't understand Golovkin's side. You're going to hit Golovkin. You don't un he no, doesn't imagine, care. Imagine 160. Well, he doesn't care because he's 147. I agree with that. But even 160 guy, he allows him to hit. And I, I know what yeah, you're going to the say. But they're sea level fighters. Ones. No, the, not, not yeah. even sea level. I'm going to say they're pity pad fighters because yeah. even he said it. Wade and Monroe. They're bombs. Monroe. No, no, they, they, they couldn't hit. They have no power. In comparison. In comparison. Monroe can't even knock out Rosado. He didn't want to, though. 
didn't want to win the fight. All right. He didn't want to fight. Because <laughs> he knew the winner getting Canelo. If you know you're getting a $3 million payday. Knock him out and get him out of there. I'm glad you guys brought that up. Uh -huh. But before we go into the next thing, that's a, what a $1,000 bet looks like. <laughs> that's what a $1,000 bet looks like. You see how they're arguing back and forth? That's how that looks like. Me and him have $100, but still, I don't argue. <laughs> but since you guys mentioned Willie and the whole situation, I want to read something that Willie put out today on his Instagram. Oh, yeah. The contract to the Canelo fight in December was signed. He was injured, so December is clearly a no-go. But that doesn't mean the fight shouldn't happen. If he is a fearless champion like he said he is, then it would be nothing for him to tell Golden Boy to keep their word and make that fight happen. Great fighters don't make excuses. His trainers already said they would never fight me because of my style. I would be considered a coward if I would say I didn't want to fight Canelo because of his style. What are your thoughts on what Mil Willie is saying? Who is he? Willie Monroe. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Why are we even discussing Willie Monroe? Because we he already because he had we one knew. chance, and Ray, what, what's the guy's name? Ray Nice. What's the guy referee's name? Uh, Jay Jack Nady, Nady's, Jack whatever. Nady. Looked him square in the eye. I'm sitting in the third row. Oh, really? Said you want to continue? He tried to pretend he didn't say no. He said he said no. He said no. <laughs> Man, he's done. He yeah, is going to yeah. be a great guy, a great gatekeeper. He's he a good a, guy. He wants a paycheck. He, he's right. God fearing. He, he, he we he respect. Him. He's going to go to sleep. He's, he's going to go to sleep. Yeah. Exactly. He's going to go to sleep. Night night. He's gonna I mean, Kevin Hart that motherfucker. <laughs> you know, Willie Monroe could, if he was more active and willing to step on his punches and step on the gas, he can actually give most fighters at 160 what a good fight, but he doesn't. But he doesn't, but he doesn't, want, he doesn't have that mentality. He, he, would, that level. he would be like Laura Light. He'd Not be a light Laura. Laura. No. If he had more movement and more activity. Laura can, but Laura is special though, man. Yeah. Laura is. Because if he faces a guy at that level, they're just going to walk him down. He's going to walk him he's down gonna and down. it's going to be over. Yeah. <laughs> just think if uh, Amir Khan got caught. And Amir Khan has great box, has no chin, but has great boxing skill. How the fuck can Willie Moreau sustain that pressure? True. With nothing coming back. And I don't think it's a good fight for Canelo. I mean, it's, it's not really a good bad. fight for Canelo. It's not at all. But then, but then okay. Fight Andrade. But if it's, not, if but if it's not a good fight, right? if it's not a good yeah, fight, and it was gonna fight. go, and it was gonna go on regular on. HBO, yeah, we. If Rosado would have won, he would have gotten that fight. So you why would, why why are we not giving Willie a chance since he no. beat Rosado? Because his name is Willie. Okay, I that's why. That's <laughs> it. He's got a sissy name. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, because his name is Willie. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna give you no perfect boxing that he don't he don't deserve to fight. Rosado didn't deserve to fight. Now it's time for Canelo got to make his run. A minus and A plus fighters. You make your run. Whether you uh, whether you get him at 38, 35, 30, you go through the gamut. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's right. not time for these. You want to take over the 160? Just beat them all. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah. You said it right there. Yeah. Next fight, obviously, more than likely, will be 160. We had this discussion of about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Who should his ideal opponent be? His first opponent at 160. I say David Lemieux. I say Lemieux before uh, to prepare for um, Triple, Triple G. G. Yes. Yeah. I say Lemieux. Lemieux. But Why? it would be nice for him to beat Sanders to what, get that yeah, belt I too. I think it makes sense for Sanders. Mm -hmm. uh, Saunders? Saunders, yeah. Just as far as for business, for business, because yeah. they don't have the WBO title. They don't have all the belts now. Mm -hmm. well, it's about, he's about to become irrelevant because he always <laughs> making noise after he signs the fight with the yeah, fights on. So does. like he's going to become Mr. Irrelevant. He's going to be like the last pick in the NFL draft. Mr. Irrelevant because, I mean, he has to get in the ring and fight. You know, he's saying he's calling out all these guys when in actuality he just wants to remain relevant. I, I personally believe because there's so many fights that he could actually fight. Yep. He could have been on the undercard in front of 50,000 people. He could have Rosado. He didn't he want it. He didn't sign it. Yeah, exactly. He didn't yeah. want to take a chance. How did he not want to take a chance against a guy who was Rosado. shown? Yeah. We, we was at the, Nick Arce was on that card. The guy, he lost that fight, Rosado. I thought he lost. You know, so I, I mean, mean, if you don't take that one, you're not gonna take it. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't fight Rosado, <laughs> just, if you just, don't fight an actor, you're definitely not gonna fight a boxer, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, you came out of that Wow, how did you not fight that guy? Yeah, you make perfect sense. And you get a half a million dollars, you know? He turned down what, four million against Gennady? Four. Gennady? Yeah, this is weird. He turned down do you... four million dollars against Gennady. That's insane. Saunders. Saunders. 